All right, bright young scholars, here's the next one. This is a mole-mole problem or a mole ratio problem. Immediately when you look at an example like this, you should see it has something that other mole problems don't. It has a chemical equation, and this chemical equation should be balanced. 2 and 2 plus 5, O2 yields 2 and 2, O5. Here's the question. How many moles, how many is my question phrase, so moles is my unknown, and this is where it's really important to pay attention to the chemical. This is the chemical that we're talking about, N2O5. Are produced from 7.1 moles of oxygen gas. 7.1 is the number, moles is the unit, and O2, oxygen gas, is the chemical. Do you notice that the chemical is different? We're going to be changing from moles of O2 to moles of N2O5. We're going to need a mole ratio in order to do that. So let's go ahead and write down our guster. The given is 7.1 moles of O2. The unknown is moles of N2O5. So do you see how the unit is moles for both the given and the unknown? But do you notice that the chemical is different? That's different from a one-step or a two-step problem. So what about our relationship? Well, we're going to need to have something, some equation, that can get us from moles of O2 to moles of N2O5, right? To get from our given to our unknown, we need a mathematical equation. How do we do this? Where do we get the number that we need for this equation? We get it from the coefficients of the reaction equation. O2 has a 5 for its coefficient. N2O5 has 2 for its coefficient. That's the only relationship that we need in order to change moles of O2 to moles of N2O5. We're ready to go ahead with our, with our fractions. We have one fraction for the given. 7.1 moles O2. I just copy it straight down. You can put it over 1 if you wish. Times. I need another fraction. One fraction for each relationship. I only have one relationship, so I only need one extra fraction, two fractions altogether. Before I try to figure out what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom, I'm going to take the unit and the chemical from the numerator, and I'm going to write moles O2 in the denominator of the next fraction. Now I know that 5 goes on the bottom. That must mean that 2 moles N2O5 goes on the top. Good. Now we can do the math. Moles cancels moles. O2 cancels O2. And you're left with moles N2O5. And you should get 2.84 moles N2O5. That's a pretty straightforward one. This is just a simple mole-mole problem, and you can see that there's only one relationship to get us from moles to moles. Thanks for watching.